full-time income and from full-time income to enterprise. So today we'll be talking about how to start a courier business. So if you're interested in starting a courier business and possibly delivering packages or messages or um, or offering people quick and quality delivery of items then this is the place for you so we'll be talking about how to start a courier business and if you're interested then it's likely you've seen companies who deliver packages to others and you're thinking this is something you might be able to do so like many startup entrepreneurs you might be concerned about the process of starting the business you might be concerned about whether this business will be enjoyable for you uh, whether you can make good money in it how much time it will take what's a typical day like whether you'll be able to run this business and check off other things from your bucket list how you can monetize the business and how you'll get other people to know about your business so in this article we'll be discussing all of these things to help you decide if this is a good fit for you and if it is how you can begin taking action today so if this sounds interesting to you let's get started so first let's talk about what is a courier business so a courier business is an independent independently owned company that gets paid to deliver packages messages and letters from one place to another there are several large companies who offer courier services such as UPS, FedEx, DHL, and United States Postal Service. But even with the existing services, there's still room for small businesses to serve the growing demand for delivery of various goods and services, including medical labs, important documents, gifts, packages, groceries, and more. So small businesses can create a unique selling proposition that larger companies with established brands and customer expectations don't necessarily have the flexibility to move into. So who is a courier business right for? The courier business is good for a person who has a passion to deliver packages to others in a quality and trustworthy way. Is for someone who enjoys managing drivers or driving themselves, a person who is willing to master the package delivery and management skills, and who is also willing to learn networking, sales, communication, management, leadership, basic finance, and basic leadership until components are hired out. Those who understand logistics and inventory management to ensure packages are delivered to the correct people at the right place and time. Someone who may need to lift heavy items or be sensitive of perishable items. Those who are willing to follow safety and sensitive information guidelines and those who are willing to learn or manage the use of hand tools, lifting equipment, and loading equipment. So if that sounds like a good fit for you, let's keep going. So what is a typical day in a courier business like? So a typical day in a courier business will vary. If you find a balance where there's a reasonable demand and a low supply, you can expect to have a consistent amount of work to do. In order to build a successful courier business, you'll need to divide your time between four areas, acquiring the work, doing the work, managing the work, and strategizing about the work. So here's how that would break down. For acquiring the work, a business isn't going to make money without customers. So as the entrepreneur, you need to begin letting people know your business exists and finding people who need the service. So you can use old school methods like passing out flyers, giving out your business cards, networking with your target audience, and I highly, highly recommend that you do that. I also recommend, in addition to the old school methods, that you also add on modern marketing methods because times are changing for businesses. More people are looking for products and services online, and as a result, I would advise you to also create a website, get listed on Google Maps, set up social media pages, and begin posting content that your customers would be looking for online. So here is 
um, a website builder you can just enter the name that you want and then click build it now and you'll have a website within minutes so this website will be a WordPress website which is the content management system that most websites online are built on so um, WordPress is really customizable you can add a lot of different functionality and features onto your WordPress website and the free website that you get here you'll be able to transfer it onto a paid domain that you would own whenever you're you're ready and available so for more information on internet marketing check out my free business growth framework where you'll get my free e-course free internet marketing training and seven days of free private message coaching with me so you can start there start with the um, training by going right here to the free course so we talked about acquiring the work now doing the work once you start getting attention and paying customers you'll have to provide a quality service to them and that's where doing the work comes in so oftentimes entrepreneurs get too focused on one component either acquiring the work doing the work managing the work or strategizing the work but it's really important for you to juggle them all when you're doing the work, you're picking up the packages, recording them in your inventory management software, delivering them, and communicating with customers to make sure they know when their packages are expected to arrive. So everything to do with fulfilling the promise that you said to the customers when you were acquiring the work, that's what you do when you're doing the work. When you go into managing the work, depending on your startup budget and your connections, you may or may not start out with help. Even if you don't start out with help, it's still important to prepare for the growth of your company by still slotting in this time for management. So before you have employees or contract to help, you can use the time to coordinate supplies with vendors, organize the packages in the inventory management system, and to create training for when you do hire. So it's really important to maintain the efficiency and to maintain the quality standard that you set in the beginning as you begin to hire and add on more people into your team. And the way that you do that is by uh, making training a real priority. You want to make sure that when you hire people that you train them well so that you're delegating the task to them and you're empowering them to perform independently. But if you um, wait until you hire and you don't uh, have training, then it can be either an inefficient process, the quality standard will lower, or it'll be like a bottleneck. And that's why a lot of um, small business owners get stuck in either the um, the adolescent phase or the infant phase of the business growth and I talk about that in another video so you have strategizing about the work small companies can't become large without a good strategy so as a result you have to take time to look at your plan look at set your goals compare your plans with your actual results and find growth opportunities so you want to constantly look at your strengths your weaknesses the opportunities and the threats for your business and they call that a SWOT analysis so you want to do that analyze um, what's going on in the market and find opportunities for growth and so you need to make time to do that so who is the target market for a courier business the target market for a courier business is split into three categories and this is three categories that I've set so it's the government is um, other businesses or b2b and direct to consumer or b2c so with the government i'm not certain of how other countries and governments work but with the u.s government i can definitely speak on that so the u.s government has thousands of agencies and each one is mandated to hire some of their work out to small businesses so large companies like um, like FedEx or um, like DHL or um, or uh, UPS can't bid on certain contracts 
um, because of the size of the business and because the, the U.S. government has mandated certain opportunities go to small businesses. So they do this because they know small businesses stimulate the economy and give jobs. So some agencies have mandates higher than 40%, which means a courier business could bid on a government contract to deliver packages and win because of their reputation and their status as a small business. So government can be one uh, opportunity, one, one target market. Then you have um, other businesses or B2B, business to business. And so in addition to the potential for a courier business with the government, there's also businesses that need your service. There's places like law firms who need documents delivered, signed, and returned quickly, medical practices who need lab work transported and results returned in a timely way. There's flower shops, cake shops, and restaurants who need gifts and special occasion deliveries. There's businesses who need their mail or other items delivered routinely. Some businesses have a P.O. box or something like that that is separate from their work location and they need someone to check it regularly, but they don't necessarily have the time or desire to make sure that it's checked regularly. So that's another niche that you can fill. There's also daycares who need uh, supplies. They may need groceries and things like that. And um, you can coordinate with companies like that, whether adult daycares, child daycares, schools, um, and different places who need um, goods delivered to them routinely. So in his post, How to Find the Right Customers for Your Courier Business, Craig Wallen highlights how a few businesses who need you to provide routine deliveries can really add stability in your company. So you could have a few medical practices that need labs transported three to five times weekly, a few law firms who need documents transported, some businesses who need their P.O. boxes checked weekly, and a few restaurants to send ready-made food to other businesses and the consistency can really enable you to scale and grow your company in a predictable way. So um, he used some examples like um, businesses who, or restaurants who um, make frozen or um, ready-made meals and need them delivered in a way that uh, the food maintains a certain temperature and things like that. So maybe they like to make the food, but they don't actually like to provide the, 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 um, the, delivery and they don't want to have to make sure that the food stays a certain temperature and all that stuff so then they would hire a delivery service or a courier service to deliver the food and and make sure that it gets to the customer the way that they um, expect so these are some opportunities for a courier business and then you have um, Direct to consumer or B to C. So by now, with the government contracts and with the B to B contracts, um, your business plan is really starting to look solid. So you could have a few government contracts, some B to B contracts, and some consumers who need your help as well. So people who pay courier services include senior citizens that are no longer able to drive or uncomfortable transporting their own goods, um, those who have medical conditions stopping them from delivering their own goods, um, people who are busy and simply want to focus on other tasks, those with responsibilities like having dependents that makes it difficult for them to travel and transport goods for themselves. Maybe they have dependents that are in a wheelchair or maybe they have um, young kids or maybe they have a lot of kids or maybe they take care of their parents or um, maybe maybe they, they provide other services to dependents. And so as a result, it might be difficult for them to transport back and forth to get goods for themselves and they'd be willing to pay a courier. Um, you also have animal lovers who may want transportation for their animals. Um, so all of these are niches or opportunities that you could look into as a courier. So when you're looking for government B2B or B2C opportunities in your courier business, you have to make sure you target people who can afford your service. Now this is really going to be key. 
because you can find serious citizens who don't want to transport their own goods but who also don't want to pay for someone else to transport it for them that would be maybe even easy to find um, but you have to find both so you really don't want to let your guards down and just start to take on whatever opportunities present themselves you want to make sure that you're targeting people who can afford your service who value your service and targeting the wrong people can really leave you scraping by or completely bankrupt so make sure to be careful to choose areas with people with sufficient income to afford your courier services so how does a courier business make money I recommend multiple streams of income for every business courier services are no different so you may want to start out focusing on building one stream of income then adding on others but either way multiple streams of income in your courier business will help you to weather different things that come up in business finance from time to time so here are some ways you can make money with a courier business with products when you look at successful courier businesses you'll notice they also sell products so when you look at um, products like packaging tape and other things to help your customers deliver their products and services to their destination safely so since you're the professional you may notice packages that aren't packaged well um, maybe the boxes are um, are not thick enough for the, the items that are inside or maybe there's some fragile items but they're not packaged well enough to protect them and you can recommend alternative packaging tape or other things that can be helpful to them similar to UPS or um, USPS the United States Postal Service or FedEx you can sell packaging with your brand and logo on it so it can serve as a benefit to your customer and as advertising for you at the same time so you can get packaging similar to UPS and FedEx made with your brand and logo at deluxe and that can earn you one stream of income from the products you could also sell products on your website that are relevant to your customers digital products and physical products so maybe you sell or maybe you have courses on your website that is about packaging about how to get um, packages from one destination to another quickly maybe you find an area where there's um, people who have a difficult time transporting their packages back and forth or maybe you find a niche with um, overseas shipment or something like that and you can create um, digital courses or digital products maybe ebooks or something like that and you can also create physical products so you can have your packaging uh, items you can have different things that you can sell on that side too so first I want to show you some of the packaging items that are available if you go to howtoentrepreneur.org slash deluxe so um, howtoentrepreneur.org slash deluxe and that'll take you here it'll also give me an affiliate commission if you were to purchase anything at no additional cost to you um, so thanks for that if you decide to take action on that so as you look at here deluxe has a lot of um, shipping supplies so they have tape they have boxes they have various things and you can get them customized with your logo on them and um, and it can serve for more than one purpose it can serve to help your customers um, ship their items but it can also sh uh, serve as marketing for you so you can see different packaging items that you could use in your courier business to ship the items from one location to another so um, they have some really nice things here at deluxe let's let it load a little okay so um, so as you can see they have quite a few things here that you can get customized and um, really serve your customers so this is where we were so you have your products 
Um, and then you have your services. So in addition to the products, you could also make several streams of income from services. So we discussed how you could have contracts with the government, how you can do B2B contracts, and how you can do direct-to-consumer deliveries. You could also offer same-day delivery services, next-day delivery service services, and more niche delivery options that big companies can't offer. So um, events is another area that you could um, master. Events are a little less common in this industry, but in other industries, events are used to educate the target audience, to boost morale, or to gather industry professionals. So you could use events to show appreciation to customers and employees, to share ideas with others in the core of your business on what's working and what's not, and to educate those who, who you do business with about how they can get better results with delivering their goods. So events could be a stream of income. Um, and I don't see many other couriers using this. So it's definitely something you could consider in the long run. And then affiliate partnerships. Now, this is one area really I think you should definitely look into. So affiliate partnerships could be another huge source of revenue. So let's say, for example, your courier service uses vans or smaller vehicles because the majority of your deliveries don't require large vehicles. So what happens if a customer with a larger delivery comes to you for services? Do you simply turn them away? You wouldn't have to if you created affiliate partnerships with complementary companies. So interestingly, many companies have affiliate programs where you can get a website link or a referral code and you can get paid a commission for each referral so many companies who aren't aware of the new technology that makes it easier to track customer referrals are willing to learn how to implement this because it's free marketing and they only have to pay in exchange for a conversion metric they set so most likely either a lead or a sale so as a result of affiliate partnerships you could get paid commissions for referring people to complementary services like moving companies, vehicle renting companies, packaging companies, or even complementary courier services. So let's say, for example, um, you there's a company who needs their animals moved and you don't move animals. So you decide to partner with a company who does. Or let's say um, you move small items but there's people that are constantly coming to you and they need larger items moved, but you haven't scaled into that industry yet. So then you can find a company that's complementary. You can partner with them. And every time you send a referral over, you can be given a commission. Now it's really a good idea to formalize this type of agreement and not to make it under the table. And so it's really good to work with companies like affiliate networks or to have affiliate marketing software where you would get the, get a link or something like that so that the, um, your your um, work is tracked well and you can make sure that you're paid every time you send a referral so here's a glimpse of some companies that have affiliate programs and um, so you can see one travel orbits cheapo air and easy rent cars but I want to show you um, another um, another option so this is wealthy affiliate and this is a, a platform that teaches all about affiliate marketing and if you go to how to entrepreneur.org slash wealthy affiliate it'll bring you to wealthy affiliate and you'll be able to check out this um, this tool that I'm using right now so with wealthy affiliate you can look up affiliate programs from the various um, affiliate networks if you type in a keyword in this case I've typed in moving so um, you can type in a keyword and you can see different programs come up and then it'll tell you how much of a commission what affiliate network and how they pay out so in this case they pay out direct deposit check or pay in here and the affiliate network is commission junction and they pay $30 commission for referrals so let's go let's look at um, let's see rental cars okay so 
So here go some other options and you can see there's different affiliate networks here. There's different commission percentages, but the nice thing is that you'll be paid whenever you send a referral. So this can be a whole stream of income that doesn't take time away from your courier um, work. This is like you leveraging um, someone else's time because you'll be able to refer them. You don't have to actually provide the service. Um, this is just simply you getting paid for saying, I don't serve you, but this person does. So that's a really cool thing to look into. Again, you can play around with this affiliate program search tool by going to howtoentrepreneur.org slash wealthy affiliate. And that is my affiliate link for this program. So when you go there, I'm actually able to coach you and to help you even further along the process. So affiliate partnerships can be a very lucrative source of income for you. And so to learn more about that, Again, you can go to howtoentrepreneur.org slash wealthy affiliate. So what is the growth potential in a courier business? So businesses who offer ease of delivery are seeing exponential growth right now. If you look at companies like Amazon, Lyft, and Uber who are offering to make delivery more convenient, they're growing crazy fast. So as a result of the growth of these huge conglomerates, you might be concerned about the growth potential for you, but you really shouldn't be. The courier services industry is nearly a $300 billion industry, and with the growth of online sales, the demand is expecting to grow. So added to the growth resulting from the internet, there are many specialties that need delivery services that are untapped by the large courier conglomerates, and you'll find different areas that need specialty courier niches more than others. Um, and so when you have a unique selling proposition, you can really find yourself a lucrative niche within the courier industry. So what are the skills you'll need to make a courier business work? Now, these are the skills that I've noticed um, are either on different job boards related to courier businesses or um, that you can observe by watching couriers and the work that they do or the entrepreneurs um, and what they do. So networking is going to be really key because that's how people will get to know about um, the services that you offer sales. Of course, you're going to have to be able to attract people and convert the attention into money. Um, inventory management, um, the ability to use lifting equipment and heavy loading equipment in some instances. So if you decide to choose a niche where you have to lift heavier items, um, like maybe you decide to do, like there's some couriers who do um, airline, airline delivery. Um, they have their own planes and things like that, and they take things from one location to another location by plane. There's some couriers who do it by boat. There's some who do it by heavy tractor trailer, um, um, big trucks. So there's a variation of different types of courier niches, but the ability to use lifting equipment and heavy loading equipment in some instances may be um, necessary. The ability to drive. Um, now you can, there's some couriers who use bikes or, um, or they use scooters or things like that. Um, but it's most common to use a car or something bigger than a car. Um, so the ability to drive is really going to be a benefit. The ability to price. You want to be able to price well for your services in a way that um, that you'll be profitable. So you have to be able to price. Financial management. Um, managing the cash that's coming in and the cash that's going out and making sure that your expenses stay lower than your income um, or making sure the business lives within its means um, risk management safety logistics management making sure that the the 
items are where they need to be, that you have the inventory of goods that you need to service the um, demand that you have, the ability to connect with others, empathy, being able to put yourself in other people's shoes so that you really understand um, what their expectations are, what their expectations are not, and that you are serving what they need and have an income as a byproduct instead of um, instead of being selfish and serving them based on your own personal needs. That doesn't really attract people for the long term. Resourcefulness, good work ethic, and innovation. These are the skills that you'll need to make a core your business work. So what are the costs involved with a core your business? So many people will tell you to create a business plan and use that to go get a loan of tens of thousands, thousands of dollars, then set the business plan up. But that's not the advice that I give here. So in most instances, I believe it's best to start with the minimum viable funnel. And this means rather than investing lots of money on your products and services up front, you spend enough time to get sales rolling in, then you reinvest from your sales and continue improving. So as a result, you'll have much lower overhead costs starting out, and these are the main things I recommend that you purchase. So you'll need to purchase the tools you'll need to move the packages, the dolly, the cart, the lift, the vehicle, the bike, the car, um, all of those things. Um, so I forecast it zero to five thousand for this. Obviously, um, there are cars and transportation that cost much more than that. So you would have to modify this to fit what you're trying to do and the niche you're trying to go into. Of course, if you want to go into planes or boats or something like that, then I haven't forecasted with those things in mind. Um, I've forecasted basically with like a used car at most. Um, and so this is just so that you can make sure that this business is something that you like. Once you decide that you like it and that you really want to get into it, then you can, can you can invest more into it. And you can invest more into it up front if you want. But um, I just wanted to give this alternative um, because I know the statistics of people who are living paycheck to paycheck and are looking for an opportunity to be able to invest some startup capital and start to really build up the business. So I've made this um, low overhead option here so that um, it's tangible for people with lower budgets. So um, again, you, you'll need the tools to move the packages. You'll need a DIY website, um, which like I included in this post, you can set up a free website here. Um, and then once you decide you can uh, buy your own domain name so that the so that your website can be like whatever um, courierbusiness.com or uh, whatever name you want at that point you have to pay for the domain name which can range between 13 and 15 dollars roughly and then you would have to pay for your hosting so the domain and the hosting is what I've included here and for one year that would be about four hundred dollars and for business cards and brochures um, I have twenty five dollars for transportation maintenance I think this is something you'll have to do regularly with a courier business you'll probably be driving quite a bit so um, you would need a little bit more maintenance than um, a personal vehicle so cleaning keeping the inside clean you don't want to open the doors of your um, of your commercial vehicle and then um, have things all over the place so you probably you might want to consider um, cleaning as a as a normal routine expense oil changes tires etc so I have there a hundred dollars a month for that gas um, if you're delivering with a motor vehicle you'll need gas so I have a hundred dollars a month for that packaging um, I have 100 to 200 dollars so I showed you some packaging options that you can purchase and um, so this is for you to get that inventory and then you can turn around and sell it um, education 
I have 100 to 200 dollars for that because you'll need to continue to hone your skills both as an entrepreneur but also mastering your craft so maybe you need to take accounting classes or maybe you need to take um, um, classes on projecting or maybe you need to take classes on um, legal and liability protection um, you will probably need scales to measure the weight of the packages especially if that's going to be a metric you use for your pricing so um, that's 100 to 200 dollars um, you'll need apps to measure your mileage and there's quite a few of those that are free um, there's apps you'll need to measure your time a lot of the couriers will charge based on the amount of time the delivery will take them and so um, you want an app that you can use to measure your time and those a lot of those are free and then you need forms like invoices receipts and delivery receipts so again those are things that you can find um, at deluxe you have business proposals you have tax forms contracts all kinds of uh, receipts and things and they will um, they will make them custom so they'll have your logo and your branding on these forms and it can really um, make your business look very professional so starting out uh, will be on the high end if you don't have a source of transportation however if you do you could expect to spend around a thousand dollars then you can start getting sales coming in and reinvest from that um, some things you'll probably want to reinvest into are advertising marketing professional associations more education and overall improving your services so maybe you start out with a used car maybe you decide to upgrade maybe you need to get more vehicles as you hire all these things will be where you will reinvest but um so what are the steps involved in starting a courier business so i recommend starting out with the minimum viable business first then once you have sales coming in and more confidence that this is something you can do, then you can uh, reinvest into um, steps like the legal and the accounting and all of those things after you are getting the income coming in. So number one, validate your idea. So most people start out in business not so much worried about whether the business can work, but they're worried about whether the business can work for them and that's why I recommend the low-cost startup because most people start out with those confidence and mindset issues like um, they they see other warrior businesses that work and that are making good money but then are like um, is this something I'll enjoy is this something that'll work for me and uh, so when you test drive the startup with a thousand dollars then you can do the business and see if you like how it feels in practice I've seen people who put in tens of thousands of dollars into a business and then they decide that it doesn't work um, it doesn't not because the business can't work but because they didn't enjoy doing the business so I really think it's best to um, to decide on that um, to decide if it's something you want to make work to decide that um, the business is a good play on your skills and your resources um, number two prioritize your business so once you know there's a demand you have a plan and you feel confident it can work for you then it's time to make it a priority you might be used to working overtime on a job or taking care of dependents whether dogs cats kids parents nephews nieces or cousins <laughs> Um, maybe you're used to volunteering a lot or dedicating your time to other things but when you decide to start a business you'll need time to invest and you'll need to prioritize in order to find the time so instead of watching Netflix or going out with friends every evening you may have to focus more attention on your courier business so prioritize number three build your brand so your brand is others perspective of your business in the beginning no one will have a perspective of your business because they won't know that it exists so if you have a small social circle and budget building brand awareness can be quite a challenge but you really can do it and some essentials that help with building brand awareness is representing yourself in a professional way providing something for people to take a look at 
and finding ways to build trust. Some things to consider as you're building brand awareness is networking in the community with those who might need your services, um, getting business cards and brochures, wearing clothing with your logo, handing out or selling relevant and useful promo products like I mentioned earlier, and creating your website and growing your presence online. So <clears throat> um, you can get started with getting your logo, um, your promo products and your brochures at Free Logo Services or actually Free Logo Services is a part of Deluxe. Um, so you can go to Free Logo Services and then the products and all that stuff that they have, all of that is um, Deluxe's brand. So it's kind of one and the same. But you can go there and they have a logo creator tool that you can use for free and see if you can get a logo that you would like through that um, free tool and they also have designers there if you want to work directly with their designers to create a logo if you're not happy with any of the free options that come out of their logo creator and then once you have your logo then they can take it and print it onto business cards and print it onto um, brochures and other things that you that you want alternatively you can hire designers from Fiverr and get them to create the logo and then take it over to a company like Deluxe and get the items that you need. So um, number four, starting, start getting leads and traffic. So once you have your basic service set up and your branding, then it's time to start getting your phone to ring, um, your email full, and people requesting your service on your website. So to get this happening, you'll have to network and find your ideal customer online and offline. So in the online world, this could mean set, setting up your Google My Business listing so that you're on Google Maps. So when people type in Courier near me, then you pop up. Um, but that also means you'll have to set up your website and do some um, local business search engine optimization and again I told you about wealthy affiliate a little bit back but they have training on local business SEO and you can see that here and so you'll you can learn how to set up your local business listings and your Google my business and um, even if you want to do Google AdWords and other things so that your business is ranking um, you can learn all of those things here at Wealthy Affiliate as a member. So, um, um, so there's things that you can do online. Also, um, doing your market research to figure out what keywords your audience uses. So let me show you an example of that. This is a market research tool that I use. It's also included in the membership at Wealthy Affiliate right here. Um, and so you can use this tool and type in, let's say, um, let's see, courier service in San Antonio. Okay, so as you can see, there are people typing, uh, looking for courier services in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, so finding out the keywords that people search can really be key um, because you can verify the demand and you can also verify the competition. So this is the average amount of people searching for it. This is the amount of people who are trying to rank for that same keyword. So based on this keyword research tool is telling us that this is a good opportunity if we were to set up a website, um, we can set up the website and uh, use these keywords to attract people and uh, that can bring business to us from online. So in addition to setting up everything online, uh, in the offline world, you could also be attending industry events where your target audience may be. We talked about um, medical practices being a good um, target audience so maybe you can go to events where doctors and um, 
uh, people who own a medical practice might be. You can also go to events where lawyers and people who own a law firm might be. And there's different uh, options like that. Um, maybe mortgage companies also need couriers to transport mortgage documents and things like that. So that would be another option. So physically going to local business owners, attending your local PTAC. PTAC is the office um, where you can go and learn about government procurement of or procurement of government contracts. And you could also put in bids with the local government. These are all things that you would be able to do um, in the offline world. You could go to senior senior homes and find out where people who people where people need your services. So all of these are options for you to start getting your phone ringing, for you to start getting your email full, and to start getting inquiries on your website. Um, so again, you can build your website here. And your website can serve as, you can use it to schedule deliveries. You can use it for so many different ways to leverage your time. You can use it as a training um, website so that when you hire, all the people are trained online through your website. So many options. Um, you can use it to show demonstrations of how your customers um, should package their goods before you pick them up. Um, so your website can be used to leverage your time and make more efficiency, but it also can be used to attract additional leads to your business. So again, you can get um, the training and support that you need. And I'll also be coaching. Um, I offer premium coaching services at uh, Wealthy Affiliate included with the membership. So the premium membership is $49 a month or $359 a year. And with that, you have unlimited access where you can send me whatever questions you have um, and uh, I'll help you out. So you can also take a look at my Wealthy Affiliate Review and Demo so you can see the web posting, the domain registration, the internet marketing training, and the community of over a million people who are members at the platform. And I have here another resource that you may want to take a look at, the best places to order business cards online. So converting the traffic into customers. So once you're getting attention, it's time to convert that attention into money. So you'll need to set your prices, get comfortable with accepting payment for your services, choose a payment processor and accept payments. So once you're getting traffic and converting the traffic into customers, you've proven that your concept works for you. And that's a huge confidence boost. Once you have that proof of concept, um, then you can really buckle down and invest more into the business. So number six, you can f you form the business legally. So once you're getting more and more customers, you're increasing your liability and more income means more taxes if you're not incorporated. So governments tend to tax individuals much higher than businesses because they appreciate the economic boost businesses offer. So when you incorporate, you can eliminate some of the legal risk your business would have and you can lower your tax bill at the same time. So if you're unsure of what business structure you should use, how to incorporate, or you just want the peace of mind that your business is incorporated right, I recommend going with Swift Filings, um, the legal service. So you can go to howtoentrepreneur.org slash Swift Filings. And all of these, the information to get to this article will be in the description box below. So if I mention any links or things like that, and you're like <laughs> trying to write them down or not able to um, follow along, don't worry, just go to the link in the description box below. That'll bring you to this article on how to entrepreneur and any of the links that you're interested in. You can just click them and navigate your way around the site um, or to the individual um, services that I've recommended. So Swift Filings is really reasonably priced and they're legal professionals. So they'll make sure that your incorporation is done efficiently and that it's done the right way. So that's the number one recommended incorporation service um, I have here at Hot Entrepreneur, but there's also 
other options that you can take a look at. And I have five um, top five best places to incorporate online um, that you can look at if you're considering or you want to shop around for alternatives. So number seven, you want to organize your books. And so your finances will serve as a guide in your business. It tells you how much you're helping others, how much you're spending, and gives you good ideas about what you can do to improve your business if you're organizing your finances well. If you're not organizing them well, it can just be hectic, chaotic, and even um, stressful. So it's best to use an accounting system that will easily give you reports like your profit and loss statement and that helps with categorizing your expenses so tax time is easier. And for the core of your business, I recommend QuickBooks as the number one option. But I've included FreshBooks um, here as well so you can decide for yourself. Um, they both have free trials, so you can check out whichever looks more comfortable for you, or you can even check out both of them if that's interesting to you. Number eight, in your courier business or any business, um, you'll need office supplies. So you'll be writing, you'll be doing paperwork, you'll be communicating with vendors um, and employees and other people. And you'll probably need things like pens, pencils, envelopes, printers, tape, and other things to make sure your operations are easy for you. So I have a list of the best home office supplies um, that most entrepreneurs need or that every entrepreneur needs. Um, I also have some different reviews that you can take a look at. A lot of entrepreneurs in this stage where they're getting their office supplies they need to fax things, they need to um, have their um, designated phone line, and um, they need to have storage for all of their paperwork and things, um, virtual storage. So I've included some reviews for you to take a look at here. Um, this is my number one recommended designated business phone line service, eVoice. Um, they also offer fax with their service so you can check that out and uh, and check out the services they have the call tree that a lot of the businesses have so when you call um, there's the answering service that'll say press one press two press three whatever you can set that up with eVoice or you can choose not to however you want to do it so check out the review so you can see all of the features they have some really nice stuff going on um, Number eight, systemize your process. So once you're offering a satisfying service, you want to make sure you're able to deliver the same quality over and over and over again. So when you can deliver the same quality to your vendors, to your customers, and to your employees, it builds a stronger reputation and the company is able to continually grow. So in order to stabilize the consistent quality, you'll have to put systems in place and you'll learn all about systemizing your processes in my um, free business growth framework e-course so again the business growth framework is right up here uh, where it says free e-course right here um, and you can check that out and learn more about systemizing your processes and it goes a lot more in depth than the things that I'm covering in this video as well so um, number nine, reinvest and scale. So once you get all the way to this step and you have money and time beyond what your business is spending, don't fall into the trap many entrepreneurs do. So at this point, many entrepreneurs celebrate too hard by getting their dream house, their dream car, their dream food, and on and on. Then they extinguish the funds they need to grow the business, improve the services, and help more people. So be careful to reinvest in the business by hiring people, improving your skills, advertising and marketing more, improving the products and services, building up your working capital so that you can buy the equipment and tools and maybe even additional vehicles and things you might need, and reward yourself too. So I don't want to say that you shouldn't reward yourself at all, but just make sure that you do it in moderation enough that you'll still be able to grow the business. Um, so these are some final resources that I've included in this article. 
Um, Udemy is a great place that you can go and learn more professional skills, whether it's accounting, whether it's Excel, whether it's QuickBooks. Um, they have lots and lots of training there that can help you to master those things that you'll need to know to grow your business. Um, Zenefits is a human resources company that offers payroll software, um, training software, onboarding, human resources consulting. So if you are going to, into hiring your first employee or um, hiring any employee at that, you can um, get consulting with Zenefits. You can also use their software. Um, they're my number one recommended payroll software company. So um, you can check them out. Gusto also offers payroll software. So if you find that maybe Zenefits um, isn't a good fit for you, that's another alternative. So I know this was a very meaty video. It gave a lot of um, a lot of details, resources, information. Um, again, you can watch the video over again, so you can make sure you grasp all the concepts. You can also stop by How to Entrepreneur and check out this article if you're a visual learner. That might be better for you. Um, all of the resources that I mentioned, the links, everything like that, is here in How to Entrepreneur and um, so, uh, if you're ready to start your courier business, uh, the goal of the article was to show you how to do that. And I'm hoping that um, the video was thorough and answered many questions for you. So, I'd love to hear your questions and comments either below the video or below the article at How to Entrepreneur. And if you're looking for even more detail than what I've included um, in this video, on how to grow your business. I explain all of these concepts in more detail in my business growth blueprint e-course and my full video course on creating your full minimal vi minimum viable business plan and that business course is at Wealthy Affiliate. Um, it's several parts and um, I've been working quite a bit on that course building that out at Wealthy Affiliate. So you can get access to my e-course and all of my free bonuses by signing up here. Um, you'll also get seven days of free coaching with me at Wealthy Affiliate when you choose to sign up there. Um, Ten lessons of internet marketing training and two free websites you can try out for free. Now that's only if you go through the links that are located at Hot Entrepreneur. There are other affiliates um, of Wealthy Affiliate that um, offer their own uh, their some offer nothing at all um, and some offer their own uh, bonuses and freebies so um, but if you're really serious about starting a courier business and uh, you like my help with growing your business then let's get started with your courier business you can stop by how to entrepreneur um, you can click at the bottom of each post or up in the menu bar and that will bring you to um, get all of my training and bonuses so that's all I have for this video it was quite a meaty video and I'm hoping that it's really helpful for you if you're interested in starting a courier business if it was please leave a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this where I do product and service reviews, buyers guides to, and tutorials to help you grow your business from idea to enterprise, then subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new videos. So that's all I have for today and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.